a 40 years old male with clinical diagnosis of cadocil. So the main pathology uh, of cadocil in the brain MRI is a subcorticulation in the uh, bilateral temporal lobes. So try to be honest with conventional MRI. We, uh, such as T1, T2, alpha is quite challenging to see the cortical of subcortical lesions. Um, there are some papers that show that DIR and PSIR can increase the sensitivity to detect subcortical or cortical lesion. Like in this patient, if we see the flare image, yeah, we can see here the the subcortical lesion, but it's difficult to see the lesion here. But with synthetic, synthetic MRI, we can also obtain other uh, images like DIR, so we can suppress the white matter or the gray matter here. So now I will use the white matter, and then we can also change the TI values. Yeah, something like this. If you can see here that the lesion, the subcortical lesion is clearly seen in the double IR image compared to the uh, previous image here. And of course with PSIR we can see it more clearly in the lesion in the temporal lobes. DIR and PSIR is not a um, regular contrast rate rated imaging that we take so if we want to get that, those images then we have to scan the patient again and we have to scan the patient with longer time but one of the advantage of synthetic MRI that we can scan the patient only one time and only in like six or seven minutes and then we can get all the contrast rated image